All right, everybody. So if you're a beginner and looking to buy basswood for the first time, uh, watch this video all the way through. It'll hopefully help you pick the right wood and make your entire carbon experience that much better. I've rated all these on a scale from one to 10, where one is like carving a brick and 10 being like smoother than butter. Um, none, of, none of the woods hit the extremes on either end, but some of them were pretty close. So just keep that in mind. While I am gonna be carving some of the woods, on the video to show you how smooth they cut, I am not doing these guys right here. Reason being is these kind of are like the lower end cheaper one. I don't want to bore you. I don't want to make a really long video for no reason. But Midwest Product Walnut Hollow, you see these at the local craft stores or around me at least, and you also see them online. Uh, Five Arth, Kingcraft, Magifly, and Can USA are other ones I see on Amazon or other craft stores online. Um, they're all about the same in my mind. Can USA would be the better choice of all of them. If you see that, and that's the only one you see, uh, and you don't see any of the other ones, I grab Can USA over all of those guys. But uh, we are going to be going over these guys here in the video. Let's give you a quick little demo of those guys here. I'm going to put a thumb guard on just for comfort on the blades. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be using two different blades here for demonstration. One is going to be your super basic Beavercraft knife, which is represents your bare basic and a uh, beginner friendly whittling knives. And then you have your Helvy knife, which is a very nice high quality handmade whittling knife that is in my opinion, really one of the best ones out there that you can get, get your hands on. So starting with Beavercraft, I, I rated them about a seven. It's not really, really soft wood, but it does carve pretty well. Even with their own Beavercraft knives, it carves decently well. You can make little push cuts and into the wood in there, um, especially with a thicker bladed knife. It's it's still decent um, wood. Noted that if you do get a nicer quality blade, you can cut through the wood a lot easier. Like my, my healthy knife does cut through the wood really quickly. I can make some decent push cuts into the wood. And if I am to make little uh, cuts in there, it cuts into it pretty pretty nicely. Going to the woods I get off of eBay. Um, the carving store stuff is a decent wood. It's not amazing by any means. It's still more on the harder side um, in some cases, but uh, you can still cut it, cut into it pretty well. Um, you can make good little push cuts in there and also a little wedge cut like, like so. So it's not too terribly bad. But if you have your nicer quality knives, it does cut through the wood um, pretty easily. Do little push cuts and then do little V cuts. Like I said, it's not exactly the easiest, but it can be done. All right. And then the stuff that I primarily use on my tutorials is from Choice Craft Wood. This is air dried basswood. Uh, this is the stuff that I like um, and use. Noted, it is fuzzier looking than some of the other stuff. Like if you get some of the, I guess, quote unquote, premium uh, woods, they're less fuzzy. But really to me, the, this doesn't bother me because I mean, you can shave it off and make it nice and shiny if you want. But this stuff, uh, it, I mean, it carves like butter. I mean, I have no problems with it. I can do push cuts all day long. I can do little V cuts in there. And then when I get a nice and thin knife, like my Helvy knife here, I mean, it just flies right through the, the basswood. So I can do push cuts really easily and do a little wedge cut. So, it, I mean, this air dried basswood is really nice to carve into. And going to Treeline USA, this wood is pretty nice. Um, you can make decent cuts into there. Push cuts aren't uh, too terribly uh, hard to do, and you can make little wedge cuts in there. And then when you get a nicer quality knife, uh, you can just carve right through it pretty dang easily. Um, push cuts are pretty easy, little V cuts in there. I mean, it's, it's pretty good wood. Heineke, which is also a really nice wood. I like the wood a lot. It, it is a nice and smooth carving wood. It's consistent. Um, I would say this is on the edge of like super premium quality wood here. Um, 
with a thicker blade it is a little bit harder to cut into but that's the same with most of the other ones if you get a nice thin knife it does kind of just like you go right through it pretty easily push cuts are pretty easy and v cuts are pretty pretty smooth in there so i mean it's it's a pretty good quality wood that we're uh, using there for heineke the ones that I personally like from are from Heineke. Um, you can go order it on their website. Noted they are very old school for how you order your wood from them. Uh, you, you send them an email, say, hey, I want this wood. They'll mail it to you, and then they'll mail you an invoice a little bit later. They have to pay by check. Uh, Choice Craft Wood is my uh, preferred wood that I use for all my tutorials. It carves like a dream. Uh, it looks rough, but you know what? Uh, when you're done carving it, it looks really good. Um, and it's super soft too. The only downside that I've seen with those ones is sometimes the wood color can be inconsistent where you'll get some that are lighter colored and some that are darker colored. This doesn't bother me at all. They both carve exactly the same, uh, just slightly different color. Now while making the video, I realized I need to make another video on um, how much of a different cut you will experience from a very thin and very thick knife. Um, I'm going to be making that uh, here in a, in a couple of days. So you'll see it up uh, linked here. If you if it's already up, you're going to see it in like the corner up over here. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good one.